Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the German speaking review. Let's call it that way for now, the Bundesliga's review I usually call it. Yeah, I took my time now with the reviews because I yes, I guess it was just crazy and so gonna do them now in the Tuesday morning. Thanks for to the international break. I have the time to do it this way. I am wearing Lask. Lask is not last in the league anymore. Yay! So that is enough, but didn't is not enough to make it all the way to the title of this video, which is of course that I think we saw for the first time this season that Leipzig actually looks somewhat okay -ish. and maybe there is a chance with some uh, adjustments making there. But as usual, we'll start in Austria where we had only five games because Sturm Graz is ravaged by COVID. Turns out they have a rather low vaccination rate. So uh, I honestly thought, first of all, uh, given how many injuries Lask had as of late, that why is this game postponed? Just because of COVID cases, because Lask at least had also four or, four, four or five, and then now it is postponed uh, because they have not solved so many COVID cases because they have not vaccinated enough. I honestly think there should be uh, a little bit of a punishment for Sturm Graz in there. I just feel in a way this way because, you know, this is highly avoidable, this postponement. So, yeah. Um, other games we had, uh, you know, Reed winning, Salzburg winning, Austria Klangfurt winning, all away wins on Saturday. Lusk, uh, yeah, had a little bit of a struggle early on. I think it took about half an hour, then they took control of the game. Uh, and yes, we had still enough in, 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 in injuries, but uh, our two agents are showing up. Hong assisting the first two goals, the first one by Potsman was really nicely taken. And then in the second half, they really started to start up brightly. Uh, and again, Hong plays it to Nakamura, who makes it 2-0. Um, then I think the game sort of was done and dusted. I thought, thought wrong. There sh in my opinion, I still maintain there should have been a penalty for Lusk. Uh, and then the penalty is given on the other side, where I'm also thinking, yeah, I mean, no, no, no. Last Leone, Savica steps up and Schlager saves it. Yay. And then I knew that this is done. And then Lask gets a penalty uh, that Michael in stoppage time converts. It's a 3-0 win. Uh, more damning is what R Rapid showed at Wolfsburg. Uh, they already had a so-and-so performance in the Europa League. And then they completely, yes, also, Rapid, not at full strength. And this is something that uh, has, as we say, most of the European teams, with the exception of Salzburg and Austria, are really struggling with injuries and players missing. But a Rapid team cannot lose for one in Wolfsburg. Not if you have just beaten them a half a year, year, year ago, 8-1 there. Uh, it was just uh, not a good performance at all. Uh, it was 3-1 at the half, half, half time, and the, the, the fourth goal I saw actually left was a really nicely played ball by Peretz um, to pull it in. Uh, Jasic, Guganik, and Dieng, who was probably the player of the game, scoring the other one for Wolfsburg with Ivo only making it 2-1 in between. Uh, Rapid still, still, still struggling uh, with the current form. I think all those injured teams are happy that there's no international break come, 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 coming up uh, where, you know, the next round is then Sturm Graz against Lask is a big uh, game where I, I honestly think Lask will probably again not make anything from it. But, you know, I would say we'll move over to Germany where I actually saw a little bit of the Mainz-Gladbach game, which was a weird game, a very, very rough and tough first half where Gladbach um, could profit from a goalkeeping mistake uh, through Florian Neuhaus. Gladbach being maybe the slightly more mature team, but everything uh, changed in the second half. I thought that Mainz had them definitely more control of, of, of the game, was better in the game, and got the equalizer through Widmer. Uh, probably could have pushed more, but I think it would have been out. The draw was fair. Um, Bayern, you know, had a little bit of trouble but in the end beat uh, Freiburg, first defeat for Freiburg. Uh, the goals came from uh, Goretzka, who I 
think it uh, would work as well. And uh, Lewandowski with a nice assist by uh, Leroy Sane. And then, you know, they were all cruising. Um, but Havara pulls once very late back. But, you know, for, uh, there was only one one win. And you always think the Bayern had another gear in there um, as well. I also found it very interesting. There was a T4 really taking, uh, especially Oliver Kahn and the other president of Bayern um, to task, you know, that for money, they even look past every, every, everything that the Qataris are, are going. Uh, Bayern fans are not happy with the Qatar Airways uh, sleeve sponsorship at all. And they, uh, the Tifa was not very central. It was kind of a little bit away from the cameras, but very vis vis visible to the main stand. So I uh, just want to have that pointed out as well. Um, Bochum, Hoffenheim, what a crazy game that was. I mean, there was almost nothing happening. Then Bochum get very late. The first goal is the 66 through Novotny. Uh, then Bochum, uh, uh, a few minutes later, get a penalty where the goalkeeper steps up. And it's a long review and lots of these dis discussions, which seemingly kind of unsettled the goalkeeper, uh, Riemann, who then puts it over the bar. Uh, and you could see that he was not happy, but, you know, he just he was more uh, thinking about sprinting. And then Hoffenheim is pushing and cannot re re refine it. And then um, very late, later on, empty net situation. Classic ice hockey situation. Empty net. Uh, where the um, Hoffenheim goal is, is, is going forward, the ball comes to Partey, which out of his own half, I mean, he controls once the ball, he looks up, and then really very nicely with some skill, puts it in, it is net from his own half. It was a really, really nice goal. Um, big celebrations thereafter, of course. Um, Bielefeld, big winner, Stuttgart, Stuttgart being in trouble, uh, absolutely. Uh, Wolfsburg, um, Get another win under Florian Kohfeldt. Suddenly they look like a real team again, although it was not that pretty. Leipzig Dortmund is a game that actually I didn't really initially plan on watching, but I was glad that I in the end had it on together with the Juve Fiorentina game. Uh, Leipzig really, really playing well, and Christopher Kunko being outstanding. Absolutely out, 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 outstanding. I think he did a double period that just went onto uh, to the post. He scores the one uh, nil after Guardiola assist. Uh, Dortmund not really there. Again, injuries have to be taken into account. But from a Marco Rosa team, you would not expect such a poor performance. I gotta say, um, Dortmund in the second half pulled one back through Marco Reus, uh, which came a little bit out of nowhere. Then had a little period where Dortmund was better. But then um, Forsberg come, come, comes off, off, Henriks comes on, and Leipzig again pushing. And I think there was already a chance for Paulson, but then he makes a second one again, assisted by Nkunku. It should have been more. To be honest, uh, they were that much better. I think a three, a three or four one would would have been the correct result in that game. Uh, what Leipzig changed is they kind of now went more with a little bit more hybrid uh, between what Jesse Marsh wants them to play and what they were playing on the um, uh, Nagelsmann. So kind of not so frantic and also with three at the back. And I think this gives Leipzig for now stability, which also shows a little bit that Jesse Je Je Marsh is not like a dogmatic. He can also a little bit uh, ad 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 adapt and let's see how this will be going forward. Um, the Sunday games didn't see much of those. Um, I, I know Kern had to twice equalize. Uh, Leverkusen got a late equalizer. Frankfurt gets a win at Fürth, which actually, since it was an away win, is, is the biggest jump uh, that we see up here. But I you know at Fürth everyone is winning, so yeah, that's how it goes. So that was it from me from what was happening in the Bundesliga. For any stats, look forward to my uh, to the stats cast that will come a little bit later. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Add anything you want to add in the comments below, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!